Welcome, Achievers, to MyScience.com's Mr. Geary. This is going to show you how to create the uh, online resume or CV. You go to MyScience.com, and then over here on the side it says Resume CV. Go ahead and click that, and it'll take you to My Resume. And then what you'll want to do, let me go ahead and log out, is you'll want to create... Uh, create your own visual CV so you'll click click that and you're going to want to put in the first name last name email uh, before you can get started they want to validate the email address so the email email confirmation login name uh, probably the same as the email for that you used for uh, the the Gmail account for the blogger uh, the password try to keep that probably the same as the Gmail and Yahoo or MSN whatever else you might have live spaces and then confirm the password down here it says how did you uh, how did you learn about CV go ahead and put down either internet search or friend recommendation and then uh, there's the professional version and then there's employers and then students so you'll want to be a you have a student account and then get yours now it's free so you will click on that and again it takes you back to this so you're going to want to agree to the terms go ahead and take a look at those if you want to and then type in the uh, the code here and then create your account now and then when you go to your email whether you're using Yahoo or Google or whoever else you might be using MSN uh, go ahead and click on the confirmation then come back and log in and then I'm logged in over here so then it'll give you a, a blank template and you'll go in and start adding things I went ahead and uploaded my picture and let me go ahead and go into the edit mode oops let's log back in and let's see my visual CV and I'll put uh, edit contact so you're gonna have first name middle name last name you may just want to go first and last name uh, title uh, student Porterville High School go ahead and put down an address be careful uh, if you don't want someone knowing another student knowing where you live you might want to be cautious if you, it's best if you use a PO box and that's what this is it's a UPS uh, box uh, phone numbers email and then if you have the uh, a website you can put the website uh, the blog that you used uh, something you should be proud of so you can put that in here save that information summary you can just put uh, your name a student at Porterville High School work history if you're in one of the academies if you're a cashier for example for one of the academies or uh, if you are taking advanced foods, those are electives, and uh, they're not A through G requirements, but that's something that you could put down here. And uh, so any work experience, babysitter, so if you click on edit, uh, so you can put down, if you're a babysitter, don't put down a company, just put babysitter, put down the duration. And, you know, if you're still doing that, you can click on present. Uh, obviously, no URL, country, state, city, uh, zip code maybe you know uh, babysitting neighbors kids something that shows that uh, you're responsible and someone's trusting you if you have multiple uh, jobs or community service uh, or something with church or with your neighbor something you do on the weekends um, where it requires uh, for you to be there for to show dedication and uh, loyalty as well as uh, leadership go ahead and put that down education go ahead and and put down uh, Porterville High School a degree will be high school diploma field of study is blank unless you're in one of the academies put down the dates that you've attended so you'll start whenever you start it probably September or August and then the pick the year and then click present because you're probably still in school if you're in my classroom you still are and then the schools URL up here uh, United States California Porterville High School and then the zip code and then the nice thing about this is that you can add YouTube videos as well as pictures the objective probably something simple high school student wishing to find a job 
skills. Uh, there's many skills that you can put down. I would put, if you're familiar with a Microsoft Word, that would be one skill that I would put in here. If you have experience using Excel, I would put that as a second skill. If you speak a foreign language, that would definitely be another uh, another category. So put down as many things as you think would make you stand out and someone who wants to hire someone would select you. Interests, go ahead and put down some of the interests that you have. Certifications, if you're in the Health Academy, you can put down uh, CPR if you pass that and first aid, definitely if you pass that. Security clearances, probably many of you do not have that. Um, custom, if you want to put something that uh, hasn't been covered. And then go ahead and click Save. And the nice thing about this, you can also print the visual CV. And uh, you can walk this into a uh, possible employer and say, you know, can you take a look at this and can you consider me for a position? You got uh, different styles up here. Uh, you got the tabs that we just went through. And this is uh, adding to the sidebar. And that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in class, but please take a look at the video so that you're familiar with it. And again, this is Mr. Geary for MySigns.com, signing off.